Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. Today we would like to discuss Chapter 5 Manufacturing Overhead. In this video for lecture session that covers the topic 5.1 Manufacturing Overhead Concept 5.2 Comparison Among Actual Costing System, Normal Costing System and Standard Costing System and 5.3 for Normal Costing System. At the end of this lesson, student should be know the concept of actual overhead cost, applied overhead cost, and estimation of overhead cost. Make comparison of actual costing, normal costing, and standard costing. The advantage of using normal costing system versus actual costing system. Calculate predetermined overhead rate. Calculate the product cost per unit. Clarify and calculate under apply and over apply overhead. 5.1 Definition of Manufacturing Overhead Manufacturing Overhead is all manufacturing costs other than direct material and direct labor costs that supporting the production process. Overhead costs are recognized as indirect, indirect manufacturing costs or factory overhead or production overhead. Example, indirect raw material, plant rent, indirect labor, plant utility, plant insurance. Concept of manufacturing overhead. The concept of actual overhead, estimation overhead, and apply overhead. Concept of actual overhead refer to the amount of indirect manufacturing costs actually occur involved in certain period of time. Example, telephone, electricity, and water bill. The amount, the bill amount will only be known when we receive the bill. Estimation manufacturing overhead refer to plan or schedule manufacturing overhead costs for the future. Actual manufacturing overhead cost is the unknown. That's the meaning of estimation manufacturing overhead. Example, syarikat awas dan berhad make an estimation for overhead such as supervisor is estimate 100,000, plan, depre plan depreciation estimate 7,500, machine repair syarikat awal estimate 25,000. But the actual amount is the unknown. Apply overhead, calculate overhead estimation based on actual activity. The formula for apply overhead, predetermined overhead rate should be multiplied with basis activity. Different between the actual overhead cost incurred and the amount of overhead applied, there will be over or under applied. 5.2 Comparison between costing system So for actual costing, taking into account the actual cost of direct material, the actual cost of direct labor and then the actual cost for manufacturing overhead. For normal costing, taking into account the actual cost of direct material, the actual cost of direct labor and then applied manufacturing overhead. For standard costing, Standard cost for direct material, standard cost for direct labor, and then standard for manufacturing overhead. So the comparison between costing 
is the amount for direct material, amount for direct labor, and then amount for manufacturing overhead that taking into account. Advantage of normal costing system compared to actual costing system. So the first advantage is product pricing can be determined in advance. Then the cost of product will be remain at the certain time period for using the same overhead rate. Five point three, determination of product cost per unit using normal costing system. Manufacturing overhead cost will absorb or apply into product using predetermined overhead rate. So the formula for POR is estimation total manufacturing overhead cost should be divided with estimation basis activity or the other name we call cost driver. So the basis activity for calculation POR predetermined overhead. So the first activity direct labor hours, second direct labor cost, third direct sorry third machine hours, fourth direct material cost, and then the last activity is production unit. Determination of product cost per unit using actual cost. Actual direct material, actual direct labor, actual manufacturing overhead to calculate product cost under actual system. Determination of product cost per unit using normal system. Actual direct material, actual direct labor, but for manufacturing overhead, we apply we use applied manufacturing overhead to determine product cost under normal costing. Under applied and over applied, the difference between overhead cost applied and the actual manufacturing overhead is called either under apply or over apply overhead if applied manufacturing overhead is bigger than actual manufacturing overhead the difference we identify as a over applied overhead then if applied manufacturing overhead is smaller than actual manufacturing overhead the difference between overhead we call under applied manufacturing overhead. Adjustment of under or over applied overhead. Adjustment need to done at the end of accounting period using cost of goods sold account. So the journal entry is for over apply overhead manufacturing overhead should be debited then should be credit credited cost of good so for under apply overhead cost of goods sold should be debited then manufacturing overhead should be credited thank you